The Little Mermaid, the King's Celebration, once upon a time, in the vibrant underwater kingdom of Atlantica, King Triton was preparing for a grand celebration. It was the anniversary of his reign, and all the sea creatures were invited. Colorful coral banners fluttered, and shimmering fish decorated the palace with pearls and seashells. Little Ariel, the youngest daughter of King Triton, was especially excited. She loved to dance and sing, and this celebration would be the perfect time to show off her talent. I can't wait! She exclaimed, her long red hair swirling around her. As the day approached, Ariel practiced her song in her favorite spot, a beautiful coral grotto filled with sunlight. She sang her heart out, imagining how the audience would cheer. But there was one problem, her father, King Triton, worried about humans. He believed they were dangerous and forbade his daughters from visiting the surface. On the day of the celebration, the palace was filled with laughter and joy. Sea turtles swam gracefully, dolphins performed acrobatic tricks, and even the octopuses painted wonderful art. As the festivities began, Ariel noticed a bright light above the water's surface. Curious, she peeked out and saw a beautiful ship sailing along the waves, suddenly, a storm erupted. The ship rocked wildly, and Ariel's heart raced. She spotted a young sailor falling overboard. Without thinking, she swam to the surface and rescued him, bringing him back to the shore. When King Triton heard of Ariel's brave act, he realized that not all humans were dangerous. He rushed to her side and smiled proudly. You've shown great courage today, my daughter. That evening, Ariel performed her song at the celebration, singing not just of the sea but also of friendship and bravery. The entire kingdom cheered, and King Triton beamed with pride. From that day on, the ocean and the surface world shared a special bond, thanks to the Little Mermaid's courage and kindness.